What's going on, guys? Welcome to another modern, we'll say, laboratory here. Um, we are going to take a look at this black-white list. It's like a black-white life loss, life loss list, though, which is pretty sweet. Uh, this was commissioned by uh, a guy named Kurt. Uh, deck looks pretty sweet, and the, we're gonna go. We're gonna play through a league, and then we're gonna take a look at the deck afterwards and see if we have any feedback and uh, any changes we want to make. So we're looking at four Paladin of Atonement, which is super interesting. Rival of Ixalan card. At the beginning of each, each upkeep, if you lost life last turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, when Paladin of, of Atonement dies, you gain life equal to the toughness. So that's pretty sweet. But one initial concern that I have, I don't know how, how frequently it's going to come up. Uh, we also have Death Shadow because all of our things do less damage, right? Like we have Thought Seizes, we have Blood, uh, not Blood Gas, Bitter Blossom. We have Phyrexian Arena, we have Street Wraith, we have Caves of Coilos, Marsh Flats. So we have a ton of cards, Godless Shrine, we have a ton of cards that are dealing us damage. So, um, and then you just have the usual black cards like Fatal Push Inquisition. Uh, Bloodgast is interesting. We have lands to take advantage of them. And um, ideally, we will be able to get our opponent down to below 10 life to give it haste. Uh, Lingering Souls is very good, obviously, and uh, Path Textile. So my one concern is that we're going to be playing Death Shadow, and then they're going to be able to kill our Paladin of Atonement, and they're going to give us enough life back to kill our Death Shadow as well. That is one initial concern that I have right now. Yeah. I hope that's not the case. When we're like at a at a like nine life and we have a four four blood gap, a death shadow, and a four four paladin, and they kill our paladin and we gain four, and then death shadow dies. That is my concern, but um, we'll see. We can probably avoid that. Static suicide thirty one months in a row. Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. So, um, and well, even the sideboard is your basic. Uh, rest in peace, Stony Silence, Leyline. Eidolon, Damnation, Cannonball I'm a big fan of, uh, you gain two, they lose two, uh, Eldrazi Displacer is pretty interesting, uh, we could actually blink Tide Hulluskeller on the stack to make sure the card never comes back, and um, yeah, pretty straightforward, uh, looking like a deck where you want to cycle things and lose life and death shadow things, we also have the like attrition-y parts of like Bitter Blossom and Lingering Souls. Um, one thing I would like to consider adding already is maybe like one of Vault of the Archangel for the sideboard. But if we're trying to lose life, that might not be great. But then again, like we do have, uh, Cannonball on the sideboard. So maybe, hmm, the Death Touch is also relevant, but we'll see. I think I just want that in any kind of like attrition-y mid-range, uh, black-white deck. So let's find out how we can do. How we can do. Let's go leagues. All right. I actually think I have enough play points. Wow. What a time to be alive. I don't hooray. think Mike... Yeah, all right. I was like, I don't think Mike has said a word yet. And then you said hooray at that moment. Wasn't much to say. I don't... I... There's... That's not a thing. That... It, you know what? We're done. We're done. Good sentence. You're a good sentence. I'll sentence you to a good sentence. Thank you. You're welcome. You are welcome. Why do I have... I have this stupid Smash Mouth song stuck in my head. This is the kind of high quality banter I subscribe for. It's good. It's very good. We don't split hairs around here when it comes to quality. Any minute now, Michael probably have a piece of ice fall out of his mouth. So, you got that going for it. Him. Us. I subscribe on the off chance Frank gives me a cookie. I, I, I think that'll happen one day. I'll, I'll hand out some cookies one day on a whim. Honey. So I'm a little, I'm a little behind as I've been watching on YouTube with Frank. When you imitate Yoda saying funny joke, it sounds like Miss Piggy, and that's totally fine as they're both Frank. Oz. That's true. They are both Frank Oz. It's actually a Game Grumps reference. Mike gets paid by the amount of time he doesn't talk per hour. Hmm. Well then. 
All right, our opponent is 1-1. Ooh, I like this hand. So we're actually going to hold Street Wraith because the goal is to uh, grow a Paladin of Atonement. So we have no benefit to uh, cycling it now. We can also just cast it. Swamp walk all over our opponent. Oh. It's going to be one of these matches, huh? Well, we'll be not having any trouble losing life in this matchup. <laughs> good point. Paladin of Atonement. MVP. Oh, another Lingering Souls. That's no good. Now I have utterly no desire to cycle this. We're just going to actually play God of the Shrine on top so we can path this guy. Because we're taking two damage either way, right? Correct. It really is always red deck. God, Bitter Blossom is not the card we want in this matchup. Leyline is what we want, but Leyline... I think there's only one ley line in the sideboard. Yeah, you got it. Maybe it's goblins. I mean, it actually might be goblins. Which is significantly different than a red deck. It might be goblins. Oh, it's definitely goblins. What gave it away? The Legion Loyalist or the Mog Fanatic? Both. Hmm. I see. What was it? Bloodgast? Good lord, none of these cards are good for us. Blood gas can't even block. Well, the hits stop coming and they don't stop coming. Back to the rules and I hit the ground running. I guess we'll take one. And sadly, draw blood gassed. Frank is Mike. Sad. That's good. Nailed it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Bitter Blossom? That doesn't, seem, that doesn't seem great, right? No, but then you're just passing the other one of the guys. Yeah, I think we have to do that, but I don't like it. Against the aggressive deck, we have one guy that can't block. And one guy that deals us damage every turn. So I think we definitely killed this guy. Not being able to block with tokens seems pretty bad. I wish they had a goblin guy that didn't deal us damage so that we could draw another card, but apparently not. Give me one land so I can so I can lingering souls. That's all I want. That'll do. We are gonna just get a basic planes here. Ooh, two one ones against their one their two their two one ones. Alright. This is where they go double goblin grenade. Kill us. That would work. <laughs> I will block. Selena Gomez Prime, are you Ariana Grande Supreme in the Discord channel? That is my only assumption that I could... Really? Just that guy, huh? Is there any reason not to block with both? No.
Don't you lose coming into a 1-1 one -one matchup with some grimy red dudes. I'm trying. Oh, they just shot us in the face and let both our guys survive? Okay. Uh -huh. Well, we're just going to flash this back and keep Fatal Push up. Because Fatal Push kills all of their all of their grimy gof gophers. What up, Axel? Good seeing you, buddy. That's what we were afraid of. Well, it doesn't have a battalion, right? Oh, that's right. They don't. Oh, now they do. I'm going to let them attack, and then I'm going to kill their Legion Loyalists before they... Actually, this is going to trigger, huh? Mm-hmm. So we can't fake them into attacking. We have to kill this guy before their battalion trigger. Really? Really? Is there like a plus two, plus oh, and is there like... Oh god, what if they have the plus two, plus oh, and trample for like two different dudes? They didn't? We just got to eat their goblins? Oh, this is great news. Zaxor, I totally didn't get your message. I like the idea a lot. Um... All right, here we go. We're at nine. I actually feel pretty healthy against the goblin deck when I'm at nine. Look how many lingering souls we have. Oh, here we go. This is how we lightning die. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. I'm waiting for it. Do I have any way to gain life here? Paladin of Atonement? No, that doesn't give me life until it dies. Well. Oh, that's sad. I guess we just lingering souls again. Nope, you and all your friends. See, this is where a vault of the vault of the archangels could be. Doing some doing some hard work. It'll probably win us the game. Straight up. Yeah. Gain four a turn. I want to play Blood Gas and Lingering Souls, but I don't have three black that I want to use. Definitely not want to take a point because then we're in goblin grenade range. So we're just gonna play lingering souls from hand, and then next turn we can play double lingering souls. Or Lingering Souls Bloodgast. Alright, two turn clock. Can we just dodge two things? Alright, they got one card. So we are... I think we just won this game. Should we cycle the Street Wraith? <laughs> no. Never. Never. Ever, ever. I feel like their last card is either a land or a goblin grenade. Karakong, the advantage of this deck over the black-white tokens list is that this is not the black-white tokens list, and it's sometimes it's fun to play different cards. But it's black-white tokens with Death Shadow, which is pretty good. I mean, as a card, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? No. No. I'm going to play one more. And then, because if they have any removal spell, they get to kill one and still take seven, whereas... And then we're just going to pass here. Show them how much you've won by. Cycle the Street Wraith and play God of the Shrine untapped. Wow. Connor Ryan, have a good night, buddy. Here comes Goblin Grenade. Watch last card, Goblin Grenade. Oh, we don't get to see it. 
All right, where's the light? Where are my life gain cards at? Camball seems good, right? Eh, maybe. Leyline is insane. Is it? Yeah. I mean, they didn't have that but, many things to target us, is the thing. Yeah, but we blanked them all with that. Yeah, but if there's not that many, how many are we really blank? I'm going to bring they, it in. They got to have goblin grenades. I'm going to take out the street race because I have no desire yeah, to naturally cycle my own life. I'm going to bring in Blessed Alliance. Yeah. I'm going to bring in Eidolon so they can't be playing two dudes a turn. Take Come out the Bitter too. Blossom. What? The Kamal guy. Camball. Camball. Kamal. Probably take out Thoughtseize as well. And I guess last, Stunny Silence, rest in peace. Nope, nope, nope. Just bring in two Displacers. Does this stack have 61 cards in it? That's yes, it does. interesting. Huh. Four, eight, nine, ten. Magic Shower, Fair Path, Dick Dunk. What what is wait what is the sixtieth what is the wrong card then? Hmm. Four Goblet Shrine, four Martial Lands, four, three Shambling Fen, three Swamp, one Plains, two Field of Ruin, four Caves of Coilos. Yeah. Okay. Four Fatal Push, for Lingering Souls, three Path. Oh, I put one extra Path in the deck. That's weird. I don't know how I would have done that because I didn't add them manually. Either way, bring in a Bitter Blossom. I mean, if we hit the cam ball, we hit the cam ball. If we hit the other one, that's fine too, right? Shambling vent's pretty good. I think the sand seems fine. <laughs> oh, double shambling vent. Goblin got every time, huh? Two shamblers. They always have it. What are you talking about? All right, so apparently, much to my embarrassment, we, we added one extra path to the deck, but I don't know how we did that. I'm pretty sure I copied and pasted the list and then stuck it in here, and I didn't I didn't change the path, the paths like to different versions, so I don't know how that happened. Wow. All right, I I get it. I said shambling vent was good. Okay, let's let's not go overboard here. Oh my god. Now we got to discard a land. I guess we're discarding. Go oh, Bloodgast. Yeah, that seems good. That's a good choice. That guy doesn't have haste. He sure doesn't. My God. How many lands can you give me? Apparently three in a row. Oh, I wish Kaya was legal in Modern. I would have a blast with that card. What's Kaya? Uh, I'll show you. Look with your Kaya eyes. It's a ghost assassin. Hmm. She never goes up. By the way, I was meaning to say the other night when I had my first stream... How great of sports you both are, playing along with jokes, answering honesty stream questions, and migrating himself from one to Snorlax on the time you guys. Thank you so much, Temple, Temple Scribe. I really appreciate that. That is the best compliment ever, I would say. I'm going to play you. 
I'm going to get old Gas to Reno back. And I guess we'll just tide Hollow Skuller here. Seems good. Seems good. Hi, Michael. Wow. I don't I don't think I ever said that quote. Quote 19, please. All right, let's see what we got. I would love to add to see things like Leovold or Kaya or Baleful Strix added to modern. All right, double bushwhacker. Pile driver, don't care about you. Heel cutter is obnoxious. They don't have a, a second land or a third land for that matter. Hmm. I guess we just take one bushwhacker. Doesn't matter, we're going to be blocking, I assume. My name is Kaya. M m friend of Mike Barbobbly Boo. I'm just chomping away at them nails. Hey, Frank, I think you understood me a bit. I wasn't criticizing your choice of deck. I'm just curious as to if there are any meta reasons to playing this for Black White Tokens in any match. Oh, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, this is the first time I played the deck. I am playing it for a viewer who... Oh, that's a good draw. Uh, who requested a deck commission, a deck critique. But, yeah, we're just testing it. So, I mean, like, we don't know until we until we play some matches with it, you know? But, yeah, I get your point. And that's always worth asking when you are trying to evaluate a deck for, like, an event or, you know, as a, as a piece of the metagame. But, um, yeah, like, a lot of times you just want to have fun with a deck that isn't one of the, you know, sta your standard fare in modern, you know? So I can just kill something and block. Phyrexian Arena. Oof. I wish... Oh, my God. If Bloodgast could just block, dude. Bloodgast could block. That card would be super broken. <sighs> I'm super broken, Michael. On the inside. Oh, yeah. I was on the outside. Come on. That's weird. I get in there with my creature that can't block. That that was a mistake. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. You do not know how the blood guest works. Two little lingerers. I think we won this game based solely on we know what their hand is and they don't have a second land yet. Here it is, second land. Ready? No. So now they have two bushwhackers. Just two, two base. Oh, another Mog fanatic. Jeez. Mog City population two apparently because they have two of them. This Mog fanatic trading with one fourth of a of a lingering souls is not going to get the job done here. You don't think so? I gotta go and be responsible and do my homework for college. I don't want to, but it would just be a waste of my own I agree with you, Axel. Have a good night, buddy. Perhaps I'll see you again someday. I, I have a feeling that no. No, it's not gonna it's not gonna work the way they want it to. We're gonna just play Eldrazi Displacer here. Our opponent is also not doing the best magics, but I don't want to criticize that. Why not? Um, because I don't want to be mean to people. I'll do it for you. Your opponent sucks. <laughs> wow. Whoo. Wait. Yeah, okay. I was like, wait, we can't play this, but it doesn't have a... It only has a colorless activation cost, not a colorless casting cost. All right. This game is probably over. We were all new at some point. 
Very true. I assume Pile Driver comes down here because it's the only creature that actually benefits you this turn. Rather than later turns. Bushwhacker with Kicker. I see. Not the choice I would have made. <laughs> I will block. All right. I see what's going on now. Unfortunate. Walladil, what's going on, buddy? You know what? I'll, I regularly wonder where you went. I'm always like, I wonder where Walladil went, man. I haven't seen Walladil for ages. Like, we know everything in their hand is the thing. Like, we know they have Bushwhacker, Bushwhacker, Pile Driver, Heel Cutter. Sometimes you do just want to get on MTGO and run a bunch of goblins into a grinder. Uh, you are not incorrect. This Paladin of Atonement is just like, I can't even, I can't even get pumped here, man. Oh, right. That was, that was a thing. All right. Yeah, 61 cards. I would love to take a path out, but we're just going to play with one extra path, I guess. Unfortunate. This player actually hates goblins. Yeah, it's actually, it was a, it was a hate crime, actually. Guys, get this. I'm going to play in a league. And I'm going to have all my goblins just run them into bigger creatures. I don't think there is such thing as too many paths. But there's always one correct path. I thought RDW said for... Robert Downey Wunier. It doesn't. Dang it. That was close, though. Mm, was close. I guess. Yes. Frank, truth only, how many black shirts do you own? I own about 13 of the same black shirt. 12 or 13. This is taking a while. I guess no one wants some, uh, no one wants any Sunday Night Magic, unfortunately. Sunday Night Magic. The only thing... The only thing I don't like about the deck, which is super weird to say, is the Death Shadow, because while we are focused on losing life... The deck also doesn't mind regaining that life at some point, and it kind of wants to with the Paladin of Atonement, which kind of contradicts the Death Shadow. So I'm wondering if there's a better card we can have in the deck than Death Shadow. Honest question here, did you guys end up getting shakes last night, and how much of a shake did Mike spill on the floor? Uh, Mike didn't spill any of a shake on the floor. Mike did actually go to Wawa and get a shake. I never did, so. But you got one from Chick-fil-A. Well, I didn't get that. You're right, I got that. Uh... Why is this? This is two and two minutes and twenty six seconds in this queue. All right, let's get let's get crushing here. I will play first. Keep this hand. This hand looks good. We're playing against good old JoJo.
Uh, they are definitely not stream only shirts. No, my wardrobe just consists of consists of thirteen of the same black shirt. I have some other shirts like graphic tees and stuff, but this is usually what I'm just wearing regularly. <laughs> Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick-ass boy. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't stop watching that meme, dude. <laughs> it's so funny. I can't handle it. Damn, boy, that's a thick-ass boy. Yeah, yeah. Has Jace won anything yet? I don't think Jace has won anything in Modern yet. So when do you want to do the stip? Um, I could do it tonight after this draft, most likely. Let's stip. So, Zaxor, can I read the stip on, on, on stream? I assume I can. Oh, we don't have a turn one play, right? We can just play this and pass. All right, so Zaxor messaged me with a stipulation. He said, uh... So his girlfriend made his birthday amazing in the best way and gave him the best day of his life. Uh, so he wants to honor that and all the other awesome girls out there. He said, a ladies' night step where you have to pick all the female planeswalkers and creatures. Don't pick any males. So he's guessing uh, it would be female planeswalkers and and uh, creatures, mana fixing, and other monsters and creatures that we can't decide a gender on, like sphinxes, beasts, whatever. Um, and I thought that was like, that's a pretty good idea. Hmm. To no thick boys? Probably no thick boys, no. I was... Oh, God, so annoying. Damn, boy. He thick. He... <laughs> oh, boy. That was so ridiculous. You went to get lunch? What time is it where you are, Metal Duck Knight? Uh-oh. Oh, kill in response, please. Oh, they didn't. Maelstrom Pulse and Lightning Bolt. And four lands. I will take your Lightning Bolt. Wow, that was great. Black Cleave Cliffs. Wow, two Phyrexian Arenas, huh? Let's draw two cards a turn. Victoria. Oh, man. I, sh I feel like I should have known that. Oh, all right. So we know your exact hand now. That's pretty good. I like that you killed that because now we can just play the other one. <laughs> all right. So Swamp, now we still know your entire ha hand. How did you... Oh, the Verdant Catacombs was played. Okay. I'll sack this guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just... Actually, we can't even go at Liliana because we got the stupid shambling vent. What does that mean? Because then they'll just lightning bolt it. Oh, right. Sure. So you have Meyer Forest lightning bolt. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't warn you about 9-11. Wow, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. That's a future joke, because you're in the future. Good talk. I guess we just hope they don't have a second Maelstrom Pulse. I can't imagine they do, though. Let's play a blood gosh instead. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Let's just do that. I will discard Street Wraith, I guess. Hmm. 
like Forest. So it's, you have Twilight Mire at Bolt and one other card. Sure. Lightning Bolt, a Spirit. Twilight Mire, Vern Catacomb. Seems good. Let's get a little of that life back. Hey, Liliana, your face, your face. All right, doing well here. What'd they play? Twilight Mire, all right. gonna keep the lingering souls in the graveyard we're ahead we're ahead enough that we don't have to just run everything out there in case they have like damnation or something you ain't gonna have no stinking damnation what in damnation like that like that old like that old chestnut yeah like that old chestnut look how much life i'm losing every turn good lord no that's a dude let's make sure you don't have any removal you do so now our paladin should be free wow did you start double lightning bolts yep interesting one two I think we're actually just attacking with the shambling vent now The shadow, the shadow. If you thought this was a a, a a cube deck, I would be impressed. All right, Jund. What do we do against Jund? Probably Blessed Alliance, maybe. Hmm. Probably gonna bring in one ley line. To be quite honest, it's good against Lightning Bolts, Thought Seizes, Inquisitions, Lilianas. I do like a Camball in, in this matchup. Cuts tree wraith. Some taboo wraith. Hmm. Make me feel some taboo wraith. I'll just bring in another thought seize. Got a board up to 61 cards, but I'm okay with it. We have three paths, three fatal pushes. Actually, fatal, pu fatal push might just be better than path here. Oh, I like turn two. Oh, opening ley line into turn two. Yeah, this is pretty good. We will keep. Put you down. I always, I always hope that they. Uh, oh man, that's a good dude. Next time we can play this guy, and we're gonna play it off of Caves of Coilos, or we can cycle Street Wraith. I think we can actually wait till we have both in play to cycle. Seems good. Boo, seems good, boos. <laughs> it seems good, boos. We got Liliana of the Last Hope, Inquisition, Golgari Charm. Let's get rid of this Kolagon's command, probably. Mm, Charm can't get rid of your ley line. Right? 
Yeah, but like then they're using it on the ley line and they have nothing else really. They also don't have any black mana. So True. Also Colagon's command can kill these guys and I don't I don't know, it's whatever really. Make me feel some type of way. So you know your hand. That's pretty good. So there's no creature in the graveyard. We're just going to pump their Tarmogoyf, but we're also going to cycle this to uh, take two damage. Now we're going to play Thoughtseize and take two damage. We can't play both of these guys. I don't know if I like Field of Ruin in the deck just because we do have a lot of mana requirements here. What's Field of Ruin even do? Uh, it kills a land and then you both search for basic. Oh. Hmm. Everything on your turn in case they draw removal. Uh, we Because it's every upkeep. At the beginning of each upkeep. So if we cycle it on their turn, we get counters on our turn. So now we have a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3. Three, three. And we can also do something that deals damage on our turn to make them 5-5 five, five and a 4-4 four, four on their turn. Their hand is pretty terrible, though. Just tried to pause the stream as I got up to get my laundry. That's my bad. Still a stream, noob. <laughs> That's it's not the first. You're not the first person to have done that, so don't feel bad. Yeah, we're just gonna play this guy. Uh, Liliana, they're a little far off. Golgari charm. I don't think we care about that. It just doesn't do anything. I guess it gets rid of Leyline? Inquisition, then? Inquisition, they can't hit us with because we have Leyline. It's probably just Bloodbraid Elf, which feels weird, but... Sure. I'm going to take the Charm. Bloodbraid Elf, they can... It's, they're two turns away from a Bloodbraid Elf, whereas they're... They're only one black mana away from... Golgari Charm. Seems good. So we can actually play something like Thoughtseize now and then crack Marsh Flats to go off on both turns. Anger of the Gods. Let's get rid of that. Um, Tiny Death Shadow. So, wait, right now you have Bloodbraid Elf, Liliana, and Inquisition. See, and right now, if they kill any of these guys, this Death Shadow gets real big. Or real small, rather. Tarmogorps are going to be four fives if we crack this Marsh Flats, though. You'll have a seven seven, though, right? Yes. But they'll be four fives, so they can double block, and we just yeah, this is a one true. for one. I just don't want the land in the graveyard. I do want an extra land, though, so. Seems fine. Okay. So we still know your entire hand. Okay, Goblet Shrine. Nope. That's pretty good.
I guess we just play everything out here. <laughs> That was the first turn, I think, where we didn't get them to be bigger. I guess we could have actually paid for two and then used caves to uh, take a point during their turn. Still not used to that kind of shenanigans, I guess. I actually don't want Bloodgast in the graveyard because of Scavenging Ooze. We still still have Bloodbraid in hand? That's unfortunate. So EOT, we can actually crack the crack of caves of Koilos. Crack open a caves with your boys. Crack open a cold caves. So how many creatures are in the graveyard? Just one. So this guy's a four four. All right. I feel like it's safe to attack with both of these guys. So four and eight. Oh, I guess they can still... No, they can't double block here. They get a triple block. Sure. Okay, so we can kill Tarmogoyf and a Scavenging Ooze for one Paladin. That seems pretty good. And then we gain nine life. Oh, wait, hold on. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, still 10. So we could have actually killed both Tarmogoyfs, but I think at this point we just want to get rid of the Scavenging Ooze. Could have attacked with Fairy Rogue. Didn't even think about it. Oh, we can undo that. We'll just actually crack Marsh Flats. Get a land out of our deck. So this guy's 11-11 now. That's pretty good. <laughs> Actually, we didn't have to crack it. I keep forgetting about Bitter Blossom because I... Um... Interesting. So this guy's lethal now. You have to actually block him. You have to just chump block him with Tarmogoyfs now forever. Well, we know that the hand is Inquisition, which is a blank, Liliana, which is pretty much a blank, and Bloodbraid Elf, which is good. But... Feels like we're still pretty far ahead. I mean, I'm sure they're going to hit a land, then hit Bloodbird Elf, and not today, though. All right, four zero with this deck, which is so pretty far, so crazy. Good. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, though, you see that that was exactly what happened with the Death Shadow, where like they just killed it in response. But um, also, there might just be something better than Death Shadow. Uh, we don't count match one for the sake of competitiveness. We count match one for the sake of record in this event oh turn one death shadow high up high no okay jazzy motto thank you so much or is it jazzy moto jazzy moto would be funny thank you so much for the sub man i really appreciate it 
I will keep this hand. Penny for your thoughts, Mike? No. Okay. Left me hanging, and, I, and he doesn't give anyone th his thoughts. Jazzy Moto. I like it. Oh, look at this fancy Aether Vial. I like that, too. This is a lot of lands, though. I'm not a fan of that. Does that mean no, we don't get his thoughts, or that his thoughts are no? Ooh. Asking the hard questions here. I have no thoughts. Yeah, we knew that. What is that, an Aether Vial? What is this, a Meddling Mage? This guy's got a fancy deck. <laughs> I got my foil promo Meddling Mage. I got my mid Masterpiece Aid the Vial. No, oh, Path Exile. A solid choice. Well, that was a good draw. I think we just play that for sure. What do you name his meddling mage? Path XL. So actually, maybe it's just time. I'll scroll right here. I got the wife some Asian chicken pizza for lunch. Is that a thing? That sounds amazing. Oh, Confidant might be better than Shadow. That seems really good. I will take your last card that is not a land. Well, that's pretty good. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about Unclaimed Territory Mana Confluence Hand? Not good. You should feel good about it, right? Why? It's a terrible hand. Right, so why wouldn't you feel good about it? Temple Scrybottom, thank you so much for the, the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. I'm glad your uh, your first time stream viewing experience has been positive enough to facilitate a subscription. Thank you for the support. All right, unclaimed territory is gone. Oh, you're gonna flash in a Vendillion click? Nah, that's not a two. That's a three. Oh, I see. Sure. That's not a three. That's a two. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. I don't know what you're saying right now. I think you're drunk. And I'd like to cancel the stream. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I've enjoyed watching you both for quite a while on YouTube, but I'm glad to get to the game. I'm glad to get to in the game for yeah. Uh, oh, you took the card I was going to play this turn, did you? You old, you old so and so. Can't play this guy yet. I guess we can play this untapped. And wow, that was so loud. I'm so sorry. I turned this up. Josimoto, Frank finally got some free time to check out the stream live. Thanks for the duresses, my friend. Had you signed for me in Vegas? Anytime, buddy. I think I remember that. So if I attack, if you block here, that's fine. If you block here, that's fine. So we'll attack. Okay. 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 <laughs> Believe it or not, this is not an ASMR stream. Yeah, it is. So you don't need to do a lot of, like, slurping and tapping and, and all that jazz. What do you mean this is oh an ASMR God. stream? Wet willies, barbecue sauce. Wet willies, barbecue sauce. Honey joke. <laughs> okay, that one's good. Mike definitely does bring a lot to the stream. I just don't know what it is. So... Everything's an ASMR stream. If you try hard enough, that's probably true. All right, now we got Death Shadow online. One one. Woo woo. That's a that's a big boy. That's a fat boy. Ooh, that is a late champion. Fatal push. How do we do it every time? 
I don't know, man. It's just you. <laughs> Phoenix twenty definitely drop the new definitely drop the new turns. We're in the chat. You are more than welcome to do so. Thank you for asking. Appreciate it. Oh my God, it's a simulation. We will it to be. So what do we kill? We kill this guy. We path this guy. We play Bitter Blossom. That seems good, right? Yeah. Put you in the trash can. Next time I go to Vegas, I'm going to Frank pick my roulette numbers. I'll just will them into existence, that's all. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, they don't even get the land because it was targeted. 35. Oh, man. Just the best. Simply the best. How much do I donate to get Mike tapping again? Wow. Oh, my God. What is the stream One even? Stropany, please. One stropany? Yes. Okay. Remember that time I added that extra path exile by mistake? Oops. Yeah, but you got it. I know. I got it. We know you have mana confluence. Why don't you just play the mana confluence? He doesn't want to. I will play a 4-4. Four, four. God, I sure hope he didn't just draw a path. But I'm not the only one. I hope someday I like that I could just crack these to give these just say tap it take one damage to give death shadow plus one plus one that seems good right I'm gonna make him a six six even an eight eight on your turn you're an eight eight wow wow I'm out of here so we can make him a 6-6, six, six, and we can actually it's a 9-9 nine, nine because of Bitter Blossom, and a 10-10 ten, ten because there's another Caves in our hand. That seems good. That's lethal. They, this guy has to be chump blocked by himself. Oh, they're going to copy Tidal Skeller here, right? Death Shadow. Hmm. Can I gain you life? I guess we actually don't have to do that now, right? I don't want to take too much damage, especially because we're already making him a 5-5. Five, five. That's the thing. That's the thing. Hey, Nate. But I'm bark, 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 bark. Is it okay if we do the step tomorrow? Maybe it's almost 5 a.m. here and I'm starting to look like Mike. Yes, I can do the step tomorrow, definitely. I'm so sorry you're starting to look like Mike, though. We all do eventually. You really do. I mean, to be fair, that Death Shadow is looking pretty pretty scary here. They drew three Phantasmometers or two? Three, right? Here's one, here's one, here's one. So we're chump blocking here, 100%. Because otherwise we die. Wow, that's a bold move. A bold strategy, Cotton. I guess it's the same as just blocking, right? 1-1. One, one. Extra card. That's a... That's a dude. That's got haze, boy. Yeah, this one also has haste. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they block the biggest dude, they block here, here, they take a million. Oh, you got a little cheaty card. Okay. What? No, they just do nothing? <laughs> Okay. But okay. 
I don't like Stony Silence because they don't have any artifacts other than either Vial. I do like Displacer just because they can target their Phantasm Images. Leyline, there's not many targets. Damnation is probably very good here. Probably Ollie. Yeah, probably Ollie. I want to take probably Ollie, 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 Ollie. Oh. Take one Death Shadow and one Blood Gas down. I think I'll take Street Rays out. Sunny Silence, not great. Rest in Peace, not great. Eidolon, probably just bring in Displacers. This seems good. Tons of removal. We have four path, <laughs> accidentally four uh, fatal push and four two right two day of jet, two damnation. I'll get it. I'll get it right. Nailed it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it right. <sighs> I can't. I just can't. This hand seems pretty okay. And we got the caves to activate and activate. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna keep this hand. we can survive i think we're that's pretty okay that's fine all right i'm excited fetches and bending your land oh you guys are chat you guys are talking about something else i see did they miss a land drop like you do what a dummy he took a damage when he didn't have to You need to counter this guy? Avacyn's Pilgrim. Like you do. Uh, no cube right now. We are playing some modern. We will probably be... I'll be doing a cube draft after this. So be sure to stay tuned. Oh, actually, five. I don't want to F6 here because I want a street wraith. What is this you're doing right here? That's annoying. It takes lingering souls, but I don't care that much. I also don't want to cycle first because if we hit like a path, I don't want them to take that instead. It's going to be another Paladin of Atonement. Time Hell Skull is good. I shall return. Where are you going to go, Michael? Africa. Oh, that's weird. Hey, I'll see you later. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Oh, what if I don't, though? That is, you're right. What if I, what if, maybe I won't see you again. And I guess we're just going to play Thoughtseize. And they're going to respond with Aether Vial. Like you do. He really does get a lot of ice. It's unbelievable. Thalia's Lieutenant... Uh, we're probably going to take Reflector Mage here. And then we're going to take something else. Because I like taking all the things. Phantasmal Image seems good. So now your hand is Thalia, Staticaster.
Correct. Staticaster. I forgot about that. Yep, that was stupid. Should have just gone with the Avacyn's Pilgrim. I looked over at the chat for a second, and we got wrecked. So... I guess we'll just retake it again. Kite Sail Freebooter is a problem at this point, but I don't think we can actually attack anymore. My favorite constructed deck to play? That's a good question. Um, anything with Cryptic Command, I imagine. So we take two here, we go to five. Play Displacer, we go to three. Favorite draft deck to play? I don't even know if that's a. I don't even know how to answer that. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. Only four of them attack. And we can block three of them. Fair trade. All right, them not putting a guy into play there was very good for us. That moment you seen it Twitch and Frank talks and you realize your speaker's up to 100%. So how did my name? Hey, Juposhi's neighbors. Aggressive. Block there. So you get Phantasmal Image back, which copies nothing super impressive, I guess. I don't know. Can you have here? You can't copy Death Shadow. I mean, we might just actually crack Marsh. Oh, I guess we just win the game. All right. <laughs> I guess a seven seven and a ten ten are probably too much for them to deal with. That seems good. Yeah, we could have killed the image. Uh, if you go to return. Who was the image? There wasn't an image that game, right? 
they had an actual Thalia. Oh yeah, we could have killed whatever they whatever they chose to to copy. We could have just killed it with Eldrazi Displacer. But you lose? no, who us? Yeah, no, nice. We're six zero. I mean, Death Shadow gets huge. Uh, this is a this is a deck. This is a the commission that someone asked me to do with their deck. Um, you guys can. You can check out my Twitch stream for information, my Twitch profile for information, but I do take uh, deck critiques, deck commissions, where I'll take a look at your deck, I'll play it through a league, I will provide you feedback, and uh, I'll post it up on YouTube. So, I like this deck a lot. I think it's super sweet. I think Paladin Matoma has been doing a lot of work, actually. Still not 100% on Death Shadow. I think Dark Confidant is probably the choice. Hard to say. Why? I think they're two very different cards. I think you're a very different card than uh, my dad. That's true. I, and that's true. Like, and you can... Well, but Death Shadow's like a threat. as where Confidant is like utility. Right. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but... I do not like the non bow though. That is awkward. Right, because if they like abrupt decay your Paladin of Atonement when it's like a 6 6, you're just probably going to lose your Death Shadow too. Mm, this hand seems very good. I'll keep this hand. Do we go turn one Godless Shrine into Thoughtseize into turn two Sculler, or do we just start playing these guys out? I wonder. So if we Godless Shrine and Thoughtseize, that's four damage this turn. And then we have to take one off of cave, so it's five damage total, right? That's fine. But if we do it the other way, if we caves for one, it's three damage this turn, and then Godless Shrine is two more damage, so it's five damage either way. Actually, considering the costs in this deck, I think it's probably best to just start with Thoughtseize into Fatal Push. I'm going to play the uh, Godless Shrine first, because if we draw any kind of basic land or like a Marsh Flats, we can just play that instead. Right, let's do some math actually. Caves of Colos, it's gonna be three damage, and if we get a marsh flats, we can get a basic. So it's four damage, whereas we got the shrine, it's four damage and it takes extra point. So it might be right to caves of coilos here. Either way, we're gonna to have to use caves for oh what interesting, another human stack. Third confident, Thalia and Thalia's lieutenant. Hmm. I mean, it's obviously. Maybe it's actually Thalia. Because we have Fatal Push for the other guy. Like, I don't want to Fatal Push Thalia because it's going to cost two instead of one. I'd rather just Fatal Push Dark Confidant. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the Thalia. They have three mana. I don't think it's actually Vial there. If they didn't have any lands, if they had one land, I'd take the Vial. But. They have three lands. They're going to be able to play everything anyway. I'm definitely just going to play Paladin here. Yeah, but if they don't have creatures to play off of the Vile, then I don't really... Maybe they'll draw creatures. I don't know. I'm not going to argue that they're not going to draw creatures to play with Vile, but I just don't think Vile's that huge of a deal, I guess. Maybe that's just me. Ancient Ziggurat. Champion? That's good. No, that's a really good draw, actually. I mean, I, I'm going to argue that this guy's going to grow much faster. We can untap land so I can Fatal Push and Shambling Vent. The problem with their deck is they're just not going to have two creatures at a time, though. That's my that's my issue. I'm actually just going to play Tide Hollow Skeller next turn. We can. I'm going to give you an extra card here, but I want to take your Thalia's Lieutenant. Heavenly Thunder, what's going on, buddy? Thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. 
Mirren Crusader. Wow. Oh, we're going to take Dalio's a 10 here. Pro black and green? Yeah. Pro black's pretty good. I'm okay, Dad. I hope you hit a land. Meddling Mage. Okay. So, Ancient Ziggurat was played, this guy is played, and they have Meddling Mage still. Yep, no blocks. They always choose path, which is nice. Always yield. Untap land. That is a good one. No attacks yet. Did you hear that? Yeah. That was Hunter just ripping. Wow, that dude just farted like extreme farts. <laughs> As a mono attacks this player, my vial is worth a lot more than a five color human's vial when I'm on the draw and being thought seized. I would also take the tie. Good to hear it. Yeah, see, so now you draw cards like this and it's just like... I'd rather you just not have another guy on board. Because then our, our Fatal Push would have costed more. Our Lingering Souls would have costed more. And last turn would have been significantly less good. Hmm. Dang, that's a thick boy. Thick boy. <laughs> I will play you. And play you, my sizable... Deathy gentleman. Alright. Everything's on board. Choo choo. All my secrets are exposed. Uh, Hunter. Hunter currently has the farts. His gastrointestinal tract is clearly in distress. I don't feel like they're in a good position here. Is that me? Is that me? Oh, I can't tell. You're not doing great. Oh, they got pro black guy here. That was stupid. <laughs> oh well, they just block it. Big deal. Solid strategy. I will allow it. Good job. Yeah, it wasn't my finest moment. I just wanted to make sure they knew. <laughs> knew what? That they had their pro black guy. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you gotta draw dudes at some point, right? So, here we go. Here's a dude. Here's a one-mana dude. Noble Hierarch. Sounds good. See, now this guy's gonna gain a 7 life, which puts us a 14, which does kill Death Shadow if he dies. Mow. 
We're going to crack this dude immediately. Didn't you already feed that stinking cat? Yeah, that cat ate, like, okay. less than an hour ago. Makes Maybe. sense why he's hungry again. Yeah. <laughs> What's it been, 45 minutes? Clearly starving. Our opponent's name is Fudge Sickles, and I'm a big fan of their tasty dessert treat. Really? When was the last time you had a Fudge Sickle? Just because I haven't had one recently does not make me less of a fan. Okay? I think it does. You could buy them tomorrow. Oh, oh. Oh, that is unfortunate. I am not a fan of that maneuver. That is a cost that we have to endure here. Hmm. Interesting. Is this, is this a black and white creature? Yep, that's unfortunate. Well, I can still block the the other guy. Yeah, the champion, but it just sacrifices itself for nothing. We'll just do one of these jobbies. And Reflector Mage, that's a good card. Especially because we can't replay this guy. And we draw land. Alright. I mean, we'll play the land. Shambling Vent can't block the Crusader. It has, it's a black creature. I will block. Lingering Souls. A swamp. Less than ideal, you might say. This is embarrassing. I'm a modern death and taxes player and also forgot the vent is black and white. Yeah. You can tell because of the colors on the card itself. I think it's very rare that a land is a colored land that produces colored mana, but the, the creature it produces is not those same colors. I think it's actually... That's pretty good. I think it's actually extremely unlikely. This Mirror Crusader is surprisingly uh, hard to handle. Mike, if you're about to eat a late dinner, what would you go to grab asking for a friend? Uh, burritos. Burritos. I'm they getting a burrito tomorrow no matter what, man. It's Tomo happening. Dang. That's aggressive, man. Yeah. A burrito? Yeah, a burrito. Is that like a scary burrito? Yeah. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve lands. One, two, three, four, five cards. Six if you can include the lingering souls. And the hair gently fell <laughs> from the sky. It dropped from the ceiling. I think we're dead here. Yep. I mean, Pretty we can sure activate Shambling Vent and just run it into their Mantis Rider. What does that do? Gains us two life. Mm-hmm. 
So we go five. I think if they swing with everything, they kill us still. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, well. I mean, I guess just do it, whatever. Can you activate them both? Yes. Do that then. Well, then they're just going to. We can just activate one to block next turn, which is probably better. I have not seen the most recent land, so I'm like one behind. Kerwit, get you some fudge cycles. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. You better use those for fudge cycles. Whatever a fudge cycle is. You're a fudge cycle. Wow. Puts us to four, but then they actually have to go to five. We can't actually take a damage here. I was thinking we could take one so this guy gets bigger next turn, but if we do that, we go to four, and then the Exalted kills us. So we kind of... Yeah. Uh, if we activate both the block, they can only attack with Mantis Rider and kill us. So we don't want to do that. I'm not saying to block the, sh the Mantis Rider. I'm saying if they alpha, we can block the anything else with the, the Shambling Vent. Exalted doesn't kill us because we actually have Paladin, so we can block. Yep, go to four here. Unless they flash in a Thalia's Lieutenant. We have a stay of execution here. That's what we're talking about. Is it? I mean, it kills the Mantis Rider, doesn't it? No. It doesn't. How? I don't know, man. <laughs> I guess we attack with Shambling Vent. Oh, sure. Yeah, that'll work. Mike Warren, it's a bitsy Mm -hmm. Let's say the soul read and take it. It's a good soul read. Yeah, they might just take it anyway there at 14. There's no reason to, though. Just look the mirror crusader. It was taking a while. Okay. Seems good. And we can also push our own paladin. It's less than ideal, but... Put another Mantis Rider on the clock. I feel like we're dead. It doesn't look good for us. We're definitely bringing in the old, uh, you know, the old Wrath of God. You know what I'm talking about. No. That would not have done it for us. All right, Street Wraith, Street Wraith. Death sh one Death Shadow. One blood gas. I'll bring in displacer, displacer, damnation, damnation. Can probably take out one thoughtsies for probably blessed alliance. I like blessed alliance here. Oh, blessed alliance. I don't know what your problem is. You're very weird. If you had a spirit, you could block the first strike and push the rider after first strike. Yeah, that's very true. But we didn't. Nor did they attack with first strike and McStrikerton. Hmm. 
<laughs> like, I don't know if that's good. Or not. Okay. Nailed it. Did you sing a song there? Oh, blessed alliance. <laughs> that's what I thought. That was a good one, man. Also, neither of us have a neck beard, so I don't know. I have the yeah, like there. There's nothing. There's no hair on either neck, which is very strange. There's no hair on my necky neck neck. There's a YouTube comment that said I came for the digitized cardboard, but I stayed for the neck beard, and I was like, thanks. But I'm like, my my neck is very clean shaven, as is Michael's, so very strange. Oh, blessed alliance. Keep this hand. My opponent has to atone for his sins. What are you sending me here? I have no idea what you're posting, Zaxor. How's my beard on my neck at all? Look at my neck. There's nothing beard to do about it. There's actually no beard whatsoever on his neck. That's no no turn one play, huh? Do I really want to put the sound on and watch? Oh my god, hold on. Hold on. Oh, where were you last turn? You old sea biscuit. Sea biscuit. Why do I have this Oh Blessed Alliance song stuck in my head? When it's not even a real song. Oh, blessed alliance. It's not even a real song. You fail into the blessed alliance. I fail into the blessed alliance. How do you make him stop? He doesn't have an off switch, which is the weirdest part. I fell in in the pit. I feel like we just want to kill this Dahlia. We do. And then we'll Inquisition your your face arena. Face Aruski. Inquisition. What are the double white cards? Are there any double white cards? Single bunch of single white cards? All the single white cards. All the single white cards. Wow, look at this. Look at this ghastly hand. Yeah, we're just taking Reflector Mage here. Double Mirror Crusader? Jeez. No red for Mantis. <laughs> that is the second best Master song we time. 5,000 candles in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> you fell in in the pit. Little Sebastian. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. We can't actually activate this placer yet. You're just 5,000 candles in the wind. <laughs> Ooh. I love that our chat gets all the office memes and the Parks and Rec memes. Yeah, those are the two best. Hey, I took a quiz. I took a quiz like which character. Everybody's a combination of two of a Parks and Rec character and an office character. And this was my this was my result. Not bad. Yeah, I was like, oh, the sickest result possible. The old Ben Ben Wyatt, Jim Halpert combo. And I was Their like. Their hair even almost matches. I could, probably, I could probably get that kind of volume if I wanted to. Where's that survey at? Oh, uh, I don't know. You can probably find it, though. That's why I just copied it. I'm like, I don't need you sharing all this. Not... <sighs> that was a sweet top deck. Yeah. We're all very proud of you. I don't think that does what we want it to do. I really hate that we can only play one thing here. Actually, I guess we can Lingering Souls and cast like Death Shadow. 
So I assume they're going to Thalia's Lieutenant next turn. Two, two. I could take that quiz live on stream. We could actually. That's actually a good point. Let's do that. We'll do that after this match. Mike fell into the pit. Cavern of Souls. All right. So now you just take Dire Fleet Daredevil. You path to exile. No. Mantis Rider. Interesting. Wow. All right. So now your exact hand now. That Thalia's Lieutenant should probably go. Marsh Flats? Tide Hollow Sculler. I'm actually going to play that. So we can get rid of at least one of your things. Thalia's Lieutenant's pretty terrifying on this board. So is Dire Fleet Daredevil because you can just get Path to Exile, right? Mm -hmm. Which is scarier, though. I don't know. It's probably Dire Fleet, because then they just go Dire Fleet, Path, and then still play Thalios Lieutenant with an extra guy on board, so. You fell in in the pit. Hmm. I think this might be our first, our first loss here, which is unfortunate. Couldn't keep the three, the four O Dream alive. There is a main character named Andy on both shows. I didn't realize that either. What? There's an Andy on both The Office and Parks and Rec. Oh, yeah. So you could technically get Andy Andy. Unless the combinations are pre-made. I don't know if they... Hmm. I'll have to figure it out. How'd that go? All right. I will not try to counter your knight, your Mirren Crusade, Ario. Wish I could kill that in response. All right. So now you just we don't have any we don't know anything in your hand anymore. Because it's all on the board. <laughs> that is correct. Here's a combo. First strike damage. Mike fell in in the pit. Sure, now you show up. Where were you last time? I could have flashed back my thing. Nowhere. You know what card is really good against us? Mirren Crusader. Mm-hmm. God, why do they keep having things? This is unbelievable. This is a big one. What's going on here? Hostage taker. Well, if you take this guy, I'm pretty sure we're just scooping because you're taking your own Thalia's Lieutenant and you're recasting it. Wow, that's very good. No, you're taking our Tidehall Skull. Okay. It's only, it's opponent control, right? Uh, 
No, you exile another target creature. You could have actually taken your Thalia's Lieutenant and then replayed it. That would actually be pretty good. Sure. Enjoy your hand. That's my hand. That is now your hand. Where's a damnation when we need one? That would be sick, right? That'd be real good. These Mirror Crusaders are doing some work here. And a Reflector Mage, huh? Reflector Mage just dies to Death Shadow, though, because we take a lot of damage pre-combat. So that's pretty cool. Get to eat your reflector mage. Damnation one time. We did board them in, right? Yeah. No, we just got a title of color. So what if they alpha? We have four four blockers. We actually have to uh One, two, three, four. I think we're still dead. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's not looking good. We could have gained three from first strike if this guy wasn't a four four. That was a mistake on our part, I guess. But I mean You should do streams where you do more mundane things than Mike B watches, like buying things on Amazon or swiping through Tinder. Wow, that would be amazing. We can branch out into the IRL stream. Depending on what they do, we might still have one turn. Let's find out. Oh! Oh, that's great. So we get to eat one of these guys? End to end gain four? So if they alpha though, we would have had to, we would have been block, block, and we would have taken three and died. All right. Yep. Gain four. I guess they didn't do the math. I'm okay with them not doing any math. Let's get down to business to defeat your mom. Fudge sickles. Can we blink this guy? That seems good, right? We're not. Oh, we're just at a mirror crusader. No, we're not. We got this guy. No, that's unfortunate. We can't blink anything, but... What? Oh, okay, we're not... I was like, oh, why can't I block? All right, we're still holding out hope for our... Uh, for our one-time damnation, because now we're dead. Yeah, I don't care about that. It's actually very good. All right, we're doing it. Let's live that dream. They can end block two, three, one, two. And it's fine. It keeps us alive from... How are we still alive? 
If nothing else, we made a go of it. Alternatively, we could we could have path of this guy and uh, played lingering souls, which would have been reasonable. One day I'll make a path out of you. Yeah, every time they pause, I just assume they're checking the stream. Well, this Possible. game this game is very close, so I might as well see how I can win. Interesting. I just see the Edel Dally is that. Okay. We go to nine here? I'm feeling healthy. I feel like a newborn boy. A barbobbly boy? I feel like a newborn barbobbly boy. You must be swift as the great typhoon, mysterious as the dark side of the womb. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense at all. What is this? What is this shenanigans you're doing here? He attacked. But does he protect? All right, so you can't flash in a Thalia's lieutenant. can't imagine you can protect this guy. I don't think there's a protection spell in your colors. What? <laughs> wow. What? Cycle that guy, better blossom. Wow, what is even happening right now? I actually kind of like the Blessed Alliance even more now because I know they just attack with one guy sometimes. Wow, what are we doing right now? Probably cut the blood gas. I'm not a big blood gas fan here. You can see it because he was actually dead to the crack back. Did we have another shambling vent? We did, didn't we? Uh, I think so. Wasn't the death shadow just legal? No, it was a four four because we gained two life. So we have oh, two but it might have been. It would have been lethal after the the damage was dealt. So yes. Yeah. Oof. I'm tempted to bring in one Stony Silence just for the heck of it. For what? Shuts down Aetherbile. Ugh. Did you say Ugh? Uh-huh. Ugh. I like it better than Blood Gas. So narrow. Right, but it's one card that hoses four of their cards. I'd rather just have another Death Shadow instead of Blood Gas. Really? Yeah. I'll just bring another Thought Seize. Also fine. Zaxor, have a good night, buddy. See you later. Bye. Uh, this hand seems fine. Yeah, we can gobble the shrine into Bitter Blossom. Oh, isn't that cute? Every every game with this guy. Oh, maybe we play towards that. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, in that case, I'm actually just going to play Shambling Vent here. Could it see right through you? Zubba do bop, dibba dibba dip do, bidden do 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 do. Bitter Blossom is pretty good against uh, Damnation, right? Oh, the double Aether Vial draw. Interesting. Be a man with my 
I feel like if they had Dahlia that turn, they would have played Dahlia, right? Probably. Dahlia's lieutenant just by itself, huh? In response, play a guy. Oh, that's actually very good. Oh, there's things happening right now. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Wow, that's a, that's a sizable army on turn two. Just one land. All right, it's not a land, but... I guess we'll take one Reflector Mage from you. Is it worth keeping a path? They're going to Reflector Mage bounce to this. We take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We take two more, but we take... Yeah, I guess it's fine. Oh, I wouldn't get that path. Why? We're just going to wrath him. We have to draw a fourth land next turn. And this is where you say, we're going to draw it. We are. Okay, well, I didn't know that, but now I know. Yeah, you feel dumb. I do. I feel real dumb now. I wish I knew. Oh, I like that a lot. In response to Reflector Mage, Path the Fairy. Oh, that's real good. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, they can only deal 15 this turn. Only. Well, it doesn't kill us is the point. And then we can play this Shadow. Gotta steal to eat. Gotta eat to live. Tell you when I have the time. Mm-hmm. 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 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen. They still go to. They, we only go to one. Eating a sandwich five months in a row. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. He's been eating a sandwich wow, for five months in a row. Wow, they dismembered our fairy rogue. That's interesting. <sighs> well. I don't know why they would do that. Because they they know we need a land for damnation. But they never sought damnation from us. Yeah, but like, we're, why else would we path our own guy instead of one of their guys? Yep, that's the end. Unfortunate. Died with damnation in hand. Cool. Like you do. So we can go block, block, block. Block, block, kill, take... Yeah, this Field of Ruin is actually... It's cost us more than once, I think. I think I would just rather have, like, Fulminator Mage in the sideboard if we're worried about lands. Because there's so many cards that are either, like, black-white, black-black, or black and white, right? So... I guess Tidal Scholar is not that great, though, here. But they are at 10. I can't imagine them not attacking with everything, though, right? Actually, if they don't have anything, we're not... Oh, we're dead to Bitter Blossom, though. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, as long as the Alpha were dead. Sure. 
So close, man. We have no way to instant speed gain life, right? Because they're we have a 12-12 and they're literally at 12. We had one more life. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Ironic. All right. Well, that was significantly closer than I would have liked, but what can you do? Correct. Yeah, and I mean, then it comes back to the question of, like, Death Shadow over Dark Confidant, because Death Shadow has definitely um, done some work. Mm, mulligan. Keep. How you doing over there, man? Just fine. Yeah? Are you, do you have your hand in your cup right now? I do. Why do you... Why do you... Don't worry about it. Okay. He's extremely weird, guys. I kind of want to just play Planes here and then Gala Shrine into Paladin. Yeah, I like that better. What is the purpose of the Displacer? To blink things, duh. Dude. Come on. <laughs> Arcbound Ravager. That is a fun card that everyone has a good time playing with and against. He is numbing his hand. You're better off not knowing. You're probably right. Oh my god. <laughs> Go with his hand in the liquid cookie jar. Good lord. Oh, last round. 3-1. Still pretty impressed right now. On honestly, I think black and white cards are some of the strongest cards in modern, so. Wow. I also think artifact cards are some of the strongest. And they'll just bring in the stony silences and uh, their thingamajigs. See, this is where we're punished because we should have played a black card last turn. And then we can play a white card and a black card this turn. Which is a concern I had. Because we only have one black mana rather than... Again, though, Field of Ruin, if it was a colored mana. You might got any funny cup wisdom for us? A hand in the bush is worth two in the sword. A hand in the bush is worth two in the sword. That's not a thing. That's not a saying. <laughs> That's not. doesn't even make any sense. Sure it does. Nope, it doesn't. Just think about it. All right. Nope, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. This dude might have to go out. Two, what is it? What was it saying again, man? Uh, the hand in the bush is worth two in the sword. The hand in the bush is worth two in the sword. Are we dead here? One, two, three, four. No, not yet. Bitter Blossom is real good against both Signal Pest and Blink Moth Nexus, which is nice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not dead. All right. I'm too late with Sackfield to grab Swamp to play two next turn to be worthwhile. Take out the blink. Uh, not yet. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go to one. Nope, they didn't want to do that. They were like, I'm good. I'm good like this. Hey, that's pretty good. We're just going to keep up push and path. Push and path and push and path and push and path. And path. 
That's a lot of Dark Steel Citadels, my friend. Can we trick them to go all in on Ink Moth Nexus, you think? No. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping we could. Maybe they think we're just terrible? Because we are just terrible. We're just the worst. Cranial plating? God, they always have it. I've never played an affinity deck that didn't just have a crane. Yeah. Just doesn't exist. The affinity deck that doesn't draw cranial plating, it actually is an urban legend. Mm-hmm. Not attack not activating Ink Moth Nexus. And not equipping the cranial plating. No, they're still equipping it. They gotta it costs one. Oh. That it's, card's stupid. Yeah, it's a good card. It's Magic Mike Workout Hour and push and path and push and path. Keep those hands on those swords now, y'all. Uh, what are you doing here? Okay. Just to be clear, this is what we wanted to happen. We want them to go all in on this Ravager and then put the Ravager tokens on something else and we'll kill whatever else they go in on. But they only did it once, so. Counter's going on. That Larry. I'm all out of love. They know. Oh, this is nice. So about you, even if I lost. Take one. Take two. Take a three. Take a so many. I don't think I'm bold enough to play a. Uh, to play Frexian Arena here, but. I feel like we're in good shape. We got a... Uh, they have two things. We can block them forever. Uh, one of the best cards against Affinity is Lingering Souls. And Bitter Blossom is uh, basically just a Lingering Souls every turn. So, you know. That's pretty good. Oh, that's a good card, though. But you can't really do anything other than that. So, you know. That's just fine. We also have Field of Ruin, which is pretty okay here. Now it's now it's okay, sure. So what we can do is do one of these jobbies. Get rid of Blink Moth Nexus. Get a Swamp. And then play Paladin, which will get pumped. So we gotta start getting in there at some point, right? They only have Why two creatures. That shadow? Uh, because I want to block, and they can also just double block here. I don't know. I guess we could kill both, but I want to be able to block this guy profitably. Because if they put a, if they put the cranial on this, and then then they have a five five and like a seven two, so I'd rather just be able to block here. Well, now we just now we can just trade here. I mean, I don't know if that was right, but. Eight two, huh? No attacks. All right. We do have to win in like. Okay, that's pretty insane. Oh boy. Do we just path this guy and just not path, but fatal push this guy. Yes. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> This is the benefit of having infinite paths and fatal pushes in your black-white deck along with infinite 1-1 one -one tokens to block your stupid nerds. Let's 
see, now we'll attack. I just have to remember, I actually almost keep forgetting that uh, we don't have, we don't have to actually pay life to pump this guy because we have Bitter Blossom that's dealing us damage each turn. I was almost going to be like, well, I might as well use Caves of Coilos here for the heck of it. I feel like Mike is about to explode over here right next to me because it's just Burp City over here. And out there. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Path Exile. The magic gods smile on us. They didn't. They didn't smile on us right there. Look at this graph. It's the one that always makes me laugh. Profane Orvis. Is that command selector for that one graph that shows all the info? <laughs> Oh, for those who don't know. Look at this graph. That's what the link leads to. And it's just terrible. Actually, I think we attack with all three of these and this guy because they actually have to block the Death Shadow here. Because otherwise it's 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that seems good. I almost feel safe playing Phyrexian Arena. No. <laughs> All right, that's fair. It actually puts us to virtual three, which was unfortunate. I think if they actually if they draw Galvanic Blast, we're still dead. Which is pretty dumb. I guess fingers crossed they don't either see that or have it. Oh my goodness. <sighs> well. It was a good game while it lasted. But it was not good game. It was bad game. <laughs> Mike, thank you for the suggestion. This burrito is gassed and will be later gas. Yep. <sighs> Two games we've lost to Bitter Blossom. Cool. I should just say a lot of bitter blossoms, clearly. I'm also not a fan of the blood gas in the deck, I think. Yeah, it doesn't do much. <sighs> it's super infuriating. <laughs> yep. Probably ship in this hand. Sure. We didn't have a shambling vent. Otherwise, I would have 1000% done that. Blast, Blood Moon, Cranial Plating, Arcbound Ravager, and you have two Ink Moth Nexuses. Blink Moth Nexuses. Well, I guess we'll just take Ravager. Yeah. You have zero creatures. Zero colored mana. And you have two red cards and an equipment in hand. Interesting. Interesting. All right, that was the one land we didn't know about. Blood Moon's not even that good against us. 
Blood Moon is great. You bring Blood Moon in against the Affinity matchup, which is super weird because it shuts off eight of their man lands. Their creature lands. What up, Agent Cody Ganks? Good, good game. Good game. Both sides fought hard. <laughs> All right. Actually, Camball could be very good in this matchup. Probably better than the Phyrexian Arena. Because they, they have Mox Opal, Cranial Plating, um, what do you call it? Blood, Blood Moon, apparently. Galvanic Blast. Springleaf Drum. They have actually a ton of non-creature spells. Or non, uh, yeah, non-creature spells. I said it right. I said it right. Actually, one thing I think you could probably cut for um, Dark Confidence is the Blood Ghasts. Blood Ghasts just feel too small in this format. Uh, Stony's Islands keep. 1,000% keep. So we have a discard spell, a removal spell, a lingering souls, which is amazing, and a stony silence. I can't actually imagine a better hand. Oh, look. A little cutie. Is it a little cutie? The answer is no. It is dead. <laughs> did, you, did you like that? Yeah. The answer is no, it is dead. Okay. It cannot be cutie if dead. I guess we'll take other signal pests and leave you with two spring leaf drums and a spire of industry. All right. You got it. One spire down, one spring leaf drum down. Other. Oh, Mox Opal and a spring leaf drum. Okay, so you literally have no artifacts that can be used right now. That is just. Just amazing. That'll do, pig. That'll do. It cannot be cute if dead. <laughs> Four one. Feels good. Let's open some treasure chests while we're here. That Not was bad. a that was a solid round. By round, I mean... All right, let's open them. Open all these bad boys. Oh, 40 play points. Oh, the Chain Veil. Probably worth nothing. Um, Nothing else. Well, I don't know why these are even in here. Who's excited about being like, ooh, Bitter Blade War... Bitter Tide... Bitter Blade Warrior. Ooh. That is a Jackal Warrior, though. <laughs> That's correct. Implement of Ferocity. Ooh. Active Heroism. Ooh, I don't even know why they're in here. If you just had play points, chain veil, biomantic, biomantic mastery, and it should really only be this. rares, right? It should be uncommons too. I'll say uncommons, but like when you're just gonna throw in five random commons, it's anyone, useless. anyone's going who's going four one or five zero in a league doesn't need bitter blade warriors or implement of ferocity. Who's the audience for these cards? I don't know. Either way, sweet. I was impressed. I like this deck a lot. Um, so Kurt, thank you so much for letting me, let me play this. Thank you so much for, uh, supporting the stream. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to support the stream as well, uh, you guys can check out my Twitch profile and it shows ways to do that. You can reach out to me. I will take a look at your deck and you can help support the stream as well. Um, but for now I would personally cut the blood guests. I don't think the blood guests were, there was never a situation except when I was already ahead and they had no guys. Um, there was no situation where I wanted blood guests really. I did, however, want Dark Confidants because they're basically just, um, I, I searched for Dark. That's not gonna, that's not gonna yield the results I'm looking for here. Like, they're basically just better versions of Phyrexian Arena, right? And maybe with the Dark Confidants, you could probably even take out the Phyrexian Arenas, which makes the mana a little better. Um, I would definitely take Field of Ruin out. I would put something like Fulminator Mage in the sideboard if you really wanted that kind of effect. I also don't even know if Blessed Alliance, I'm gonna take out this extra path to exile. Um, I don't think Blessed Alliance is necessary. I don't think Eldrazi Displacer is necessary. I did I did like boarding it in, but I mostly just like boarding it in because it was a way to... Uh, I bet if you search for Bob, it doesn't come up. A thousand percent. 
Bobcat. Okay. Whereas in like, I hate to say it, but in Hearthstone, if you search for something like, uh, I don't know, it, 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 it's got a better search engine. That's all I'm saying. I would cut Eldrazi Displacers and put Fulminator Mage in the sideboard. Actually, I would just put Field of Ruin in the sideboard. I like Field of Ruin in the sideboard better. It also gives you a couple extra lands to play. Alexa, stop! That was awkward. I have no idea why that happened. All right. Um, it did say the word play, so... Shut up. So some of my favorite sideboard cards, I don't know if you need a sixth Thoughtseize, but some of my favorite sideboard cards are Stony Silence and Rest in Peace. I would definitely find ways to put more of those in. And Leyline. I think these are some of the strongest sideboard slots in Modern. I like Campbell. I like the sideboard. I mean, it's hard for me to, to super suggest anything to cut. I think Blessed Alliance would probably be the only thing. Because we do have three Path to Exile, four Fatal Push in the main deck, which is a lot. And we do have Damnation in the sideboard as well. Plus, our creatures are big enough to take care of a lot of stuff. Um, I would I would say another rest in peace and I would cut one blessed alliance and I would also even I think our affinity match is actually good so I can see not adding another stony silence but I would probably add one more ley line I think this would be the sideboard I go with it gives you a lot of uh, flexibility and I think the main deck is good like this we were going to take out field of ruin I'm shambling vents three I like three because it's not I would add a second planes probably maybe we already have four Godless Shrines. We already have four Caves of Koilos. We already have four Marsh Flats. We already have all the the usual suspects. I would actually probably just add two fetch lands. What would we replace Arena with? Well, we already added Dark Confidants, but let's let's find out. Um, I would say, like, it, it doesn't matter which lands. I would probably add one, like, Arid Mesa and one, one like, Black Red, like, uh, Bloodstained Mire. Because these are also good at triggering your uh, your your Death Shadow and your Paladin. Um, what would we cut for Frexian Arena? Did you feel anything? Um, we didn't really mention anything. We didn't mention anything. I wasn't. I sure. would probably cut. I would probably add the fourth Bob. I was thinking that too, actually. I think a fourth Bob for a Frexian Arena is just fine. And then the last Arena could be something random. I don't know what, but <laughs> it's like a Bane Slayer Angel. No, I hate it. Oh, I do like Isolated Chapel, actually. Isolated Chapel is a pretty good land as well. Um, I I would change my mind about the Vault, maybe. Actually, Vault seems really good as a one-of, I'll be honest. Yeah, I would cut Arid Mesa and just add one Vault of the Archangel. I think well, you can probably get away with one colorless land. But, like, giving all your Lingering Souls or Bitter Blossoms tokens... Um, Death Touch and Life Link is really good if you can do it. Oh, there's only three Bitter Blossoms. You can cut the last arena for a fourth Bitter Blossom. I could see that. Or a Mirror Crusader. Someone discussed that. Mirror Crusader just seems weird. Weird. It doesn't really go along with our plan, you know. I also don't want to lose too much life here. <laughs> well, you're only replacing them with card. You replace cards that took damage with cards that took damage. I like three Dark Confidant. I don't want four, four Dark Confidant because we are, we're cutting two arenas for two Dark Confidants and then a third Dark Confidant anyway. And we also cut the Blessed Alliance from the sideboard, so I don't think that we want to have... Um, I don't like Legion's Landing just because it... Um, I, you're, you don't want creatures that regularly gain you life, just they, they, they can gain you life in a pinch. Uh, thoughts on Phyrexian Unlife? I don't necessarily like it in this list, but maybe it is kind of obnoxious it just kind of could do a soren maybe a soren soren and doo-doo <laughs> i could see soren but i'm always kind of unimpressed by soren as well um to be honest with you with three blood ghasts and four lingering souls in the main deck i was curious as to why there wasn't any liliana of the veil oh but sure you can play lily but now we but we still got the blood gas already, so I don't know. I do kind of like Gideon Jura actually. Not Gideon Jura, the other one. Gideon. I'll just search for Gideon. There are seventeen results. 
44 I have I have 44 of them. Oh, that good in? Yeah, sure. Three, four, that seems five, good. 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13. This is 13, but these are doubles, so there's 12 Gideon cards that I have on. Yeah, I like this Gideon. Uh, he makes guys and also you can just pump all your guys, your bitter blossom tokens, your lingering souls forever. And it's one of the few emblem ways that you don't actually Is Soren just better though? No, that Gideon's pretty good. Soren does give the guys plus one plus zero though. This guy, this Soren. Yeah, and he doesn't die to do it, which is nice. But the vampires have life link, which is relevant. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think that's. I think it's basically up to you. Um, I would say either Soren, Lord of Innistrad, or one of each. Uh, or two Gideon. I think these are a nice top end. It's going to be the most expensive card in the deck. And um, I think it goes well with the strategy. You're making you're making guys, and you're also making your one ones a little bit stronger, which is nice. Um, sometimes Gideon does win the game on his own. I think the same could be said about Soren. Like being able to make an emblem and not kill your Soren is really strong. And then you can next turn plus him again and make another guy. Um, the benefit to Soren is that it's white black, not white white, and white white might be problematic in the deck because, yeah, I mean we took out two of the. I don't know. Um, selfless Spirit is another option, I think. You have a bunch of tokens. You have a bunch of creatures. You go wide. But uh, either way, hopefully I've given you a bunch of things to think about. Um, the deck seemed great. I was actually really impressed with how, how well it performed. And um, I really like Paladin of Atonement. Um, I, I'm still not completely sold on the interaction with Death Shadow. I think we got lucky, and they didn't end up killing our death, killing our Paladin while we had a Death Shadow out and two for wanting us uh, getting both of our biggest creatures off the board. But nonetheless, like when it works, it works really well, and I liked it a lot. So... Hurt, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys appreciate it. And uh, hope you hope you appreciate it, not you guys. But I guess, hope everybody who's watching appreciate it. Thank you so much. Really uh, appreciate you guys supporting me and uh, checking this out. And I'll see you guys next time. Smash that like and subscribe. Smash the like and subscribe button.